Since World War II, the United States has maintained a safe, secure, and effective nuclear triad. The land-based leg of the triad has been a stabilizing force, top cover for the United States and our global allies ever since. Through the history of intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs, the Air Force is focused on weapon system improvements. On alert since 1959, the first ICBM, the Atlas missile, was developed to respond to adversary aggression. The Titan I and II were the first multi-stage missiles that could strike targets outside the Atlas's range, offered twice the payload capacity of previous ICBMs, and the Titan II was the first to launch from a silo. The Minuteman missile was built on the strengths of previous ICBMs and addressed weaknesses, including use of liquid fuel. The whole Minuteman II weapon system was more resistant to a nuclear blast and introduced a new guidance system with an eight target capacity. The current Minuteman III is the result of over four decades of spiral development. When fielded in the 1970s, it deployed into hardened silos and gave airmen on alert advantages of accuracy, reliability, and near instantaneous launch capability. Peacekeeper was developed after Minuteman III carried more warheads, and was cold launched allowing for silo reuse. After the deactivation of all peacekeepers following the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty II, the older Minuteman III weapon system became the backbone of the land-based leg of the nuclear triad. From the Atlas ICBM, which was stored outside and took hours to launch, to the Minuteman III, which launches in minutes from an unmanned silo. ICBMs have improved with each generation. After over 50 years of incredible service, the Miniman 3 will be replaced and modernized with a new generation ICBM. The ground-based strategic deterrent systems directorate team have been given the noble task of replacing this Hall of Fame weapon system with a new ICBM baseline design, which will deploy 400 new missiles, update 450 silos, and modernize more than 600 facilities across almost 40,000 square miles of U.S. territory, which spans over six states, three operational wings, and a test location. This undertaking is a true mega project that will require radical teamwork, disciplined execution, and historic resolve. GBSD is a new baseline design for the ICBM that includes a low technical risk with a technically mature baseline design which ensures the land-based leg of the triad meets future operation requirements through 2075. In close cooperation with Air Force Global Strike Command and the intelligence community, GBSD is a flexible design capable of adapting to meet the challenges of future threats while providing a more warfighter-friendly design for operators, maintainers, and defenders. GBSD's acquisition approach seeks to manage risk, promote innovation, and identify affordable design options using new and advanced program management techniques. Since its beginning in 2014, the GBSD program has been bringing the future faster for the nation through innovations in digital engineering, modular open systems architecture, contracting, data analytics, and program management. GBSD's modular open system architecture is a very human-centric design that will bring down life cycle costs and ensure we meet the demands of dynamic threats and technological change anticipated over the next 50 years. Purchasing GBSD technical specification rights will ensure maintenance competition over the life of the program. Digital engineering enables our team to use 3D models and simulations to explore possibilities and develop innovative solutions in a virtual environment. Development, security, and operations embed security as an integral part of the development process, minimizing vulnerabilities through the life of the weapon system. During GBSD's technology maturation and risk reduction phase, the program successfully executed numerous design reviews and made great progress in prototype development. The program's successes has put the nation in a strong position to execute GBSD design, test, and early production activities with time certainty and within costs. The engineering and manufacturing developed contractor, Northrop Grumman, will work hand in hand with the Air Force to complete the final systems design, build and demonstrate performance, and prepare for production. 
As we move forward and capitalize on current and future technology advancements, we will also look back to the father of ICBMs, General Bernard Schriever, for management guidance. What he said more than 70 years ago is just as true today. The Air Force's ballistic missile program represents a concerted effort of unprecedented magnitude, jointly pursued by the most competent and widespread government, science, and industry teams ever assembled on a single project. We are building a similar team for GBSD. The scale, complexity, and diversity of this new ICBM requires it. The threats the United States may face in the future demands it.